What's up you guys? Today I am back with 11 looks inspired by our one true love, K-pop. K-pop stylists come up with some of the most amazing fashion concepts, which is actually what first sucked me into this world. And even a lot of idols personal style are an awesome source of more wearable inspo. With that being said, there's literally thousands of iconic looks to choose from and today I'm missing some of my absolute favorites as well so don't come at me if your alts aren't featured because this is an ongoing series so we will get to everyone eventually. Disclaimer I will butcher all pronunciation. <laughs> I find Jenny's airport style and the looks we get to see on her personal Instagram to actually be quite relatable. I mean, minus the price tag that comes with being the Chanel princess. But two common themes we do often see her in are wide-legged jeans and little cardigans. So I decided to follow that theme with this outfit today. The crop and cardi combo is a really close dupe that I found on Yes Style, and they actually have quite a few different Jenny lookalikes, if you will. So I feel like that's how you know she's a true style icon when she's influencing what's popular in the mainstream even. So as most of you all know, I love ATs. Their stylist team is one of my favorites, so I was certainly spoiled for choice. But since I've already recreated some of their older looks before, I decided to choose their latest release and went for Emo Songhua, whom we all love so dearly. It's actually a super simple base to start with, just black trousers and a white button up. The main focus then is the sweater vest, and K-pop made me fall in love with sweater vests, but I will admit this particular one leans slightly more part-time elf rather than emo pirate, but we make it work and you could switch this out for any color combo you have. In my opinion, solo queens have had some of the best stage outfits this year. Sunmi, Hyuna, and Chana. She is on her way to collect big this award season after she delivered one of the bobs of the year. But it was this particular look that really just left me for dead. So here's my not so great second rate version. So basic white shorts and a crop top to act as a base with a corset cinched over the top and a belt at the waist. I wasn't too sure what the extra layer she had at the back was, but I ended up taking this men's tee and tucked it into the shorts to act as a somewhat similar half skirt situation, I guess. And then just layer on the chains as you see fit, as little or as much as you please. Okay, not gonna lie, I haven't had a chance to fall down the rabbit hole and learn all the members of Seventeen, but I do know a bob when I hear one, just like I know a fashion king when I see one. Q the eight. Minghao. Of course, he has a ton of cool looks to choose from, but I decided to choose this particular one from his Instagram account for those cozy autonomous vibes with his oversized cardigan. I think this is such a wearable look in general, but also perfect for a slightly dressed up day at school or college when you still want to be comfy. Double points though, because it's also super affordable with the whole fit being from YesStyle. Again, I know, but that is my go-to for K-fashion styles. I thought we'd switch things up a little bit with our IU inspired outfit by actually taking inspo from her K-drama character in Hotel de Luna instead. If you have already seen the wardrobe from the show, you'll know it's more on the costumey side and less wearable for everyday wear. So instead of choosing one particular look, I just created my own by taking key styles we see her in a lot, including dresses, lace, capes and some form of headwear. To be completely honest, I don't really think this style suits me, but maybe it's just because it is out of my usual comfort zone. The dress on its own is beautiful though, and something I could see me styling for a fancy dinner. And also the cape, I think I would style separately as well, but just as a whole, I don't know, I'm not completely sold on it, but let me know what you think. Okay, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite things in K-pop is actually the build of anticipation as the teasers start to drop. So I decided to wind it back to before Joppin was released for a Super M inspired look. 
do keep in mind this is more so an additional member as it's just taking the overall vibe from the group teaser specifically and then just putting my own spin on it with what I already had and turns out I had a lot of options which actually is no surprise because this is very much my usual style. So I was just cycling through till I found a combo I was happy with but some options you could go for would be a chest rig, harness, vest, chains or something with an asymmetric element to it. Also got to give a shout out to my girl Savannah who killed it with the Mark inspired glasses which confirmed I too needed these in my life so this was the only item I actually purchased for this look which honestly only sent me back two dollars from the hardware section in the cheap shop. Back to one of my solo queens who absolutely kills it on Instagram. She is always posting her outfits of the day, so her feed has just become an endless supply of inspo for me. In the end, I decided on this little 90s baby moment because what is a K-pop video without a plaid skirt? I love how she teamed it with the cardigan, again, really sticking to that strong 90s emphasis and also the choice of the lighter color boot because I always find these impossible to style, so I was stoked to finally have something to wear them with. This ended up being one of my favorite looks of the bunch. If you've been on my Instagram, you'd know I'm often unintentionally dressing like Hobie because our styles are quite similar. But when I saw this shirt at the thrift, it immediately reminded me of his New York outfit at a fraction of the price. So that's what I decided we're rolling with today. At first, I was a little bit iffy, mostly because I wasn't sure how I'd feel about the jeans not being high waisted. But in the end, I was pleasantly surprised. And I do think it really made for a more accurate representation of his original. Since I know a lot of you guys also got your start in K-pop because of BTS, I wanted to do a little giveaway for ARMY. I have the BTS Mediheal collab postcards. I'm not including the face masks or anything, but I do have three packs of the postcards to give away and they will come sealed like this and all, but I thought I'd give you a look at mine so you can see what they actually look like. If you do wanna enter, just leave a comment down below about some of your favorite K-pop music videos at the moment and just be sure to include include your Instagram handle so I can easily contact the winners over there. I just want to start this one off by saying Fancy is actually my pick for song of the year because I have not stopped singing and dancing to it since it was released way back in April. But with that being said, today I am performing top 10 anime betrayals and choosing Sana's feel special outfit instead. In my defense though, this dress is just about spot on, so how could I not? And honestly, their performance in what I'm going to describe as like the metallic pastels is just stunning. I think it is so pretty, especially together as a group. This is obviously a more extra look than what a lot of people would opt for, but I do think it could come in handy over the holiday season for a bit of party wear inspo. Obviously, we've got choices on choices on choices when it comes to NCT, but I had to turn to my bias. Born to be cute. Sometimes SM stylists nail it, and other times they make mm, questionable decisions. So I thought we'd put our trust in Taeyong's personal style and have a look at his airport fashion. I went for this particular look because I thought the shorts spiced things up a little bit and the pop of color added even more flavor. Sadly, my bag was more neon than my hat and the camera really blew that out even more. So I'm sorry if the mismatch is distracting, but hopefully you get the gist. And honestly, friends, this is where the video was supposed to end at 10 looks, but I realized heads would roll if I didn't include fellow SM babies, Red Velvet. I even had an Oompa Oompa moment over on the gram, but I know a lot of you guys love Sulgi, which understandable and not to come for K-pop junkies brand or anything, but look at these pants. It is my mission to DIY these eventually, but alas, today we have a more minor DIY with this denim shorts look. 
This length of shorts is not something I was ever interested in, but they've definitely grown on me this year and I love how she teamed it with the beige blazer and sneakers for a comfy meets business vibe and I actually kind of feel like a 90s mum picking the kids up. I can't cook you dinner, but I will buy you K-pop albums. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more K-pop themes coming super soon. Next up should be more of a playlist inspired lookbook, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.